my eyes. My eyes decide which flowers. I go there and you see me, I walking around in whatever coming to my eyes. I never see the price. I passing by, passing by, maybe the two passing by, I grab the flowers. And I do the same thing every week. My name is Luis Navarro. I born in Mexico in uh, 1966, 67, I come to the United States. After I, that, I married my wife. I have five kids total. And I am very happy with my family until January the 2nd, 1993, somebody go and kill my daughter Veronica and Cynthia. From there, uh, my life changed complete. Uh, the whole thing started right here, 18 and a half years ago, in this house. When I arrived here, I found Veronica laid down right here, taking care of the fire department. I found out uh, the baby's dead. I don't want to see her because I want to remember like I see the day before. And a couple of hours later, Veronica died. Cynthia is my first granddaughter. I never say this. Veronica is my first daughter. And both are gone the same day. A lot of people don't understand why I'm doing for 18 and a half years search for the criminal. I promise Veronica and Cynthia I don't want to stop until the guy are in jail. And the other promise I do to both is all he's going to have flowers all the time in the cemetery. And I I do both, pro both promises until today. Every week I told Veronica and Cynthia, enjoy the flowers, Mijas. Because soon I die, I'm gonna buried right there in the same spot. It's maybe once a year it's gonna have flowers. The rest is gonna be empty. But soon I stay alive, it's gonna have flowers for sure. Yeah. <laughs> Anna, my wife, in that time, started thinking somebody's gonna kill her. But I don't know why Anna keep that one in, in the head, in the mind. She decided to go away, go far away. It's 400 miles. Now he's told me to move over there, I say, nope. I don't want to let Veronica case away. You see, in my life, Veronica and Cynthia are number one priority, my job and myself. I am in the third place. The job is in the second, but Veronica and Cynthia are the first. And I don't care what, uh, what I have to do. I'm going to do it. I'm going to try to look for the criminal, and pressure the police and the high authorities in Los Angeles. I dedicate my life to increase the rewards from 25 to 50,000 to 100,000 total. Every six months I have to go and talk to the councilman because the reward is only for three months. If I have to go every month, every two months I go. 
The guys know if the guys don't listen to me, I'm going to stay there. I don't care how many hours. He says uh, he's taken 15 years looking for justice. It's when I am in City Hall. I am there 15 days. When they taken the cross from Highland Park to City Hall, request an interview with uh, the mayor. I don't give up, believe me. I go ahead, not backwards. <laughs> When I do something for my daughter and my granddaughter, I had the picture of Veronica and Cynthia, and I had the, the ring, the wash, and the little bracelet from Cynthia. All the time I, I, uh, I said, Mija, let's go to work. <laughs> right here is all the phone numbers. Uh, Talk to your okay. friend, relatives, Thank okay? You. Thank you. Thank you very much, Okay, friend. okay, bye. To pass in the flyers is, <laughs> every year is different because I never use the same technique. I try to find the best way to do it. I ask him to read the article, and it's a $100,000 reward, and talk to the friends or relatives about the case. Maybe somebody know. I pay for the flyers because the police want to give me a uh, 100, 150. I prefer to pay for a thousand and do myself. A lot of people told me I spend a lot of money. I say, don't tell me nothing about the money. The day I come and ask, ask you for $20 to buy flowers, you can tell me something. I fold them like this because uh, this way are in English, but that's easy to turn it on into the Spanish. I come Saturday and Sunday because it's a lot of people. But you can see it's a lot of people don't want the, the flyers. Why? I don't know. But uh, I keep walking, you know. I'm going to keep doing that until the guy is in jail. I don't care how many years take me. I hope one day something comes. And that day is going to be the end of uh, I can go back and do my regular life. I don't know if it's going to be easy to go back to my regular life, because I don't live my regular life for 18 years. Veronica and Cynthia case is the num number one priority. Now. When I don't have nothing to do with Veronica and Cynthia, I, I don't know what I'm going to do. I am scared. I am scared. Maybe I can adapt myself to, to a regular life. Uh, I have to wait until the moment comes and find out. And I hope uh, everything come OK. Chiquitas. Mm -hmm.